desert habitats are terrestrial habitats. They can be warm or cold, but get very little rain and are the driest of all habitats. Surviving in desert habitats is very hard. Some plants and animals have adapted to survive in these dry desert habitats. Many desert lizards like this bearded dragon found in desert habitats in Australia get the majority of the water they require to survive from the food they eat. Bearded dragons will eat insects in the deserts and the color of their skin helps them camouflage into the deserts where they're found to help them hide from animals they want to eat and also help them to hide from animals that may want to eat them. They also protect themselves by having spines and spikes all over their bodies to avoid predation. Cactus also avoid predation in deserts by covering their bodies and spines. They have a lot of water inside of them that animals would like to get. And also storing water in desert habitats are camels who survive weeks and weeks in between drinks of water by storing the water in the large humps on their backs. They also have thick fur on their bodies to help protect from the harsh desert suns. This beautiful snake can be found in deserts in the United States. Not here in Florida because we don't have any desert habitats, but out west in California, Arizona, Colorado. So this snake right here is called a rosy boa. And you can see they have camouflage similar to the bearded dragon, which helps them hide in the desert habitats they live in. And just like the camels, rosy boas don't need a lot of water. They can actually go up to 30 days without water, an adaptation to survive where they live because desert habitats do not get much rain. They also sleep underground in burrows and dens during the day and come out at night to hunt when it's cooler. Let's go check out an eight-legged animal to see why some creatures that live in deserts decide to sleep the day away and be active at nighttime. Many desert animals like this rose-haired tarantula have adapted to avoid the daytime heats altogether and only come out at nighttime. We call the animals that are active during the night nocturnal animals. And this rose-haired tarantula has adapted to the desert habitats by becoming a nocturnal animal. Let's leave the desert habitats and journey over to our next exciting habitat. Wetlands are a very unique habitat that actually has areas that are aquatic underwater and terrestrial on land. A lot of the time that's going to change throughout the year and in many places that's going to depend on which season it is. For example, in Florida, our wetlands are a lot more aquatic during the summer months. When we Thanks so much everyone for watching our video on desert habitats. Look out for our next video coming up soon on wetlands where we'll meet American alligators and common snapping turtles. We'll see how American alligators are adapted for living underwater by having built-in masks and how snapping turtles can help breathe through their rear ends. Even more after that, forests, grasslands, and a great ending to come. Appreciate all of our viewers. Thanks so much, everyone.